Uh, and in this video, we're going to look at how you can get Microsoft Office for free. Um, nothing illegal, no pirating, and nothing like that. From simply creating yourself a Microsoft account, you can get access to the Office Suite. So I'm going to go through all the steps that you'll need. So by the end of the video, you'll have a fully working Office Suite that you can use wherever you go. Let's get started. thing that we need to do to get Microsoft Office for free is to create ourselves a free Microsoft account. So easiest way to do this, head to Google and search for create Microsoft account. In the search results, the one that we're looking for is here. So sign in or create your account today, Microsoft account. So you can go ahead and click on that. Okay, so you should end up on a web page that looks like the one on the screen. Go ahead and click on create a Microsoft account. So in here, we're gonna click on get a new email address and we're going to create an email address for our Microsoft account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go uh, uh, mktechtest at outlook.com and then hit next so what you may find is when you um, are trying to create yourself an email address you may find that a lot of the common ones are taken so if you just try to use your first name surname um, the likelihood is that will have been taken so you may need to add a few numbers or something to the end so keep trying different ones until you find an email address that you are happy with and you get to this screen here where you're going to create yourself a password okay so go ahead put that in um, so here we can I would like information tips and offers I'm just gonna uncheck that because I already get all of that information in another email account so go ahead click on next so I've done this a few times and sometimes it goes straight to this one and you create your account straight away and there's no problem and you just have to enter the letters in the box like so. Other times I've done it and it's asked me to verify my date of birth and things like that. So if it does ask for that information, just pop it in until you get to this screen here. So enter the characters, as you can see here, you can get an audio version or if you can't quite make them out, click on new and it will give you a new set of values. So hit next, hopefully I did that correct. Okay, and you should end up on a screen that looks like this one here. So we have already done step one, which in all honesty is the main step. You now have access to Microsoft Office. All I'm gonna do now is show you where you go to access that. So once you get to this screen here, if you go over to these dots in the corner. So you see I'm hovering over it and it says app launcher. So that's what we wanna do. We wanna find the Microsoft Office apps. So if I click on that, this is everything that you now have access to just by creating that Microsoft Office account. So Outlook, OneDrive, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, To Do, Calendar, and Skype. So Office is what we're here for. So let's go ahead and launch one of the Office apps. So we'll click on Word. And what that's gonna do is load up the online version of Word. And again, this is all completely free. All you've had to do is create an Office account and now we've got access to Microsoft Word here. So we can create a new blank document or we can look at some of the templates that we have. I'm just gonna create a blank document just to demonstrate. So this usually comes up the first time you launch uh, one of the apps. Um, in Office Online. So go ahead and click on Verify. And all it will do usually is ask for your password again. So go ahead and pop that in. And then I'm gonna click on New Blank Document. And there you have it. We have full access to Word. 
you can go through some of the tutorial stop steps that it talks about. Um, but otherwise, you can use it as if you were using Word on the desktop. One of the real benefits of using Office Online is it's all saved online. So all you have from any computer that you use, you just log in using the Microsoft account that you had in a web browser, and then you can access all the documents that you create and save on here. Uh, and if we want to jump into another app, it's as simple as going back up to the app launcher and then selecting another application. So we're going to go ahead and select Excel and we're straight into Excel. Nice and quick, nice and fast. Click on new blank workbook. So this time it hasn't asked me to verify because I just verified using Word. So it's happy that it knows who I am now. And again, we have access to Excel. I can create my spreadsheet. I can save it. I can go to uh, another computer, perhaps uh, in the office or in my school, and I can continue where I left off at home. And there you have it. That is how you get Microsoft Office for free. I really hope that this has been useful for you. If it has, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more useful videos on how to use uh, technology. Um, if you would like a PDF version of the instructions that I just went through, you can download that and I'll put that in the description below. Um, so you can follow those steps um, in a PDF version if that's more suitable for you. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.